हेलो एवरीवन ए वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम सूर्य कला मैथ्स फैकल्टी ऑफ क्रांति कीन रेसिडेंशियल स्कूल फ्रॉम क्लास वन टू सेवन एंड आल्सो कीन कोचिंग फॉर साइनिक आर एम एस एंड नवोदया एंड आई आई टी फाउंडेशन टूडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस ऑल इंडिया साइनिक स्कूल एंट्रेंस एग्जाम पैटर्न एंड ऑल्सो टूडे आई वॉन्ट टू डिस्कस मैथ Mathematics syllabus. What role mathematics will play in competitive exams? Not only in signing and for the upcoming future exams also. What type of role will math play? I'll discuss today. Let me get into the topic. You can see here All India Signing School exam pattern. first of all in all india signing school the major role plays by mathematics subject in this mathematics subject you will get around 50 questions and each question will carry 3 marks and together it is 150 marks in total and the next thing gk gk includes evs social science and general topics it will consist of 25 questions and each carrying two marks and together it will consist of 50 marks and in the same way for the language also you will have 25 questions and each question will carry two marks and the total marks for language is 50 and and in the last intelligence so we usually say intelligence also as reasoning and it is also consist of 25 questions and each carry two marks together 50 all over all together all the subjects together you will get a paper for 300 marks i hope is it uh, it is clear to everyone this is the pattern of exam and i want to tell you one more thing if you want to achieve a higher goal the very important and thing without mathematics not able to clear any upcoming future exams the basics are very important if you take basic math foundation it will increase your ability to do higher class mathematics and also the competitive exam syllabus and now i am going to discuss mathematics portion what type of uh, topics will be included in mathematics and which topic is important what topic does it mean we are going to discuss in this video Yes. Yes. You can see here the topics which are involved in mathematics. Not only this is for Sainik, it is also for Navodaya and RMS. The topics remain same for all the three exams. If you see, the first topic is natural numbers. We usually say it as number system. In this topic, we'll discuss what type of numbers are there, like even, prime, composite, odd numbers. There, there will be different types of number. We'll discuss it very clearly. And I can say that is the most weighted topic in mathematics. And then next, HCF and LCM. common multiple and highest common factor and the next method topic is unitary method unitary method is nothing but they will give you cost of some like 15 apples is around this much then the what is the cost of 10 apples they will ask such type of questions will be involved in unitary methods but the very next topic is fractions even fractions we will have different types of fractions such as proper fraction unit fractions like fractions unlike fractions mixed fraction there will be different types of fractions only not only the types we will discuss even the addition ascending order descending order all these topics will be involved in this fractions topic and then ratio and proportion 
this is a commercial uh, this topic will be useful for commercial mass for example the for comparison of any two quantities we will use ratio for example the cost of two uh, bananas to two apples is in this ratio then the cost of this is how much such type of questions you will get in ratio proportion is nothing but making any two ratios equal next topic is profit and loss we all know very well we usually use these words in uh, uh, all the business or whatever if you read you will get some profit if you won't read you will get loss for every single uh, matter involves and based on profit and loss i believe next simplification simplification is uh, depends on usually we will simplify a question in the order whatever they given like first they given plus will you do addition then if they give minus then they will do minus that is not the order to follow to simplify any questions there is a rule called board mass based on this rule only we have to simplify any questions so in this simplification topic we will discuss this board mass rule and how to what order we should follow to simplify equation we will discuss in this topic next averages average is nothing but distribution equal distribution of and anything if 10 people are there only one apple is there how can you distribute we should take it average we should equalize that apple we should make it into pieces and then we should distribute that topic will be discussed in averages the next topic is arranging of fractions arranging of fractions is not nothing but i told you already here ascending order and descending order which is the greatest fraction which is the least fraction we'll discuss these two are interrelated next percentages if you ask me what is percentage, you know, for example, out of 100 marks, you got 60. Then what is your percentage? 60 percentage only. How we calculate a percentage? The obtained marks by the total marks into 100. Mostly the topics uh, in any uh, business or something else, in any uh, thing, they'll ask you how much percentage you got. Right. So, how to calculate such percentages and all, we'll discuss in this topic. Next, area and perimeter. Area and perimeter also plays an important role. Area, uh, in area and perimeter deals with a square, rectangle area, triangles area. We'll have different, different triangles like skeleton triangle, isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle. There are different types of triangles, areas and perimeters we'll discuss in this topic next simple interest usually when you go to a bank if you deposited some amount not you mostly your parents they deposit some amount in the bank they'll get some extra money for those uh, money which was kept so that extra amount is called simple interest they got that extra money because of this simple interest what it will be we will discuss in the later classes next lines and angles if you ask lines and angles there will be different complementary angles obtuse angle acute angle what are those all angles we will discuss in the future classes next temperatures usually will nowadays the temperature is very high can i say yes right too hot above very too too hot so this temperature, how we calculate Nana? Either in degree centigrade or as degree foreign heat. So, this degree centigrade to degree foreign heat will convert those. How we will calculate all this will be discussed in temperature topics. And conversion of units. Conversion of units means each and everything will be calculated in some unit. For example, if you ask what is your weight, you will say kgs. If you ask your uh, uh, height in either in centimeters or inches like that, you will tell no. Then sometimes there is a necessity to convert meters to centimeters or to pi. All these will be learned in this topic. Next, Roman numerals. 
This is also included in number system. Usually, we'll write either numbers in the Indian system or international system. System is uh, that is used local areas only in the India. International system is all over the world. I hope you all know all this. But Roman numbers is something different. Uh, we'll use some symbolic representation to represent each and every digit or a number. And to decrease a number, we'll do subtraction from that. If you want to increase the number, we will add to it. There is a proper arrangement to write those Roman numerals. For example, if I say 5, how to write 5 in Roman numerals? It is V. We use a symbol V. If we want to write 500, then it is D. So, there will be some alphabetical symbols. We will use it to write some numbers. That is the Roman numerals. Types of angles. I already told you here, line set angles. Acute, obtuse, right angle, complementary, supplementary, all these angles will be discussed in types of angles. Next is circle. In area and perimeter topic only, circles comes. In, uh, like circle area, circle perimeter, all will be discussed. Next, volume of cube and cuboid. Volume of cube and cuboid means the capacity of the, uh, if you see it, tank. A tank will be in cuboid shape. Why? Because it will have some length, some breadth and some height. So, that shape is called cuboid. Right? Then, if I ask you how many liters it can be capable, we should calculate the volume of the cuboid. Okay. So, such type of questions will be discussed in cube and cuboid volumes. Next, prime and composite numbers. Prime and composite numbers. What is prime number? Which is not divisible by more than two numbers. Composite numbers means a reverse. Like which is divisible by more than two numbers. So all this will be included in number system topic itself. Next, plane figures. Plane figures is nothing but square, rectangle. All these are called plane figures. Next, decimal numbers. Decimal numbers are nothing but very least numbers you can say. For example, 0 0.1, 1.25, 3.046. All these are called decimal numbers. In this decimal numbers topics, you will learn how to add a decimal number, how to divide a decimal number, how to multiply a decimal number. We will discuss in this decimal topic. Then speed and time. The very important topic for competitive exam students. Speed and time. Writing faster is not important. Writing the right answer also important. That we will teach you here. Okay. With the speed and accuracy, we have to do the mass. Not only mass, and any subject, we have to do it with some accuracy and speed. If you write, a, if you take more time for a single question, it will not be sufficient for you the two and a half hours. So, the most important for a competitive exam like you is speed and time. There will be distance, speed, time topics. We will discuss in this time, speed and distance. Next, operations or numbers. Nothing but addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. But not uh, a smaller numbers. They will ask you a bigger numbers, multiplication and divisions and all. Next, complementary and supplementary angles. I already explained you. Complementary means sum of two angles should be 90 and supplementary angles means sum should be 180. In this topic, they will give you some angle and they will ask you complementary angle of it. Or else they will ask, uh, if they give you some angle, they will ask you supplementary angle of it. But to get that, we have to subtract from 180. Involved in mathematics quotient. 
to get key knowledge of this topics come and visit our prampikin residential courts uh, residential school where we'll provide all the tips and uh, uh, improvement classes for sinic rms and navodaya and through this channel we will provide all the tips and easy access of uh, doing mathematics through this channel so please try to like share and subscribe to this channel you will get all the updates at free and we are also conducting online program if you are interested kindly contact 9030409797 please hurry up thank you for watching